We're doing a little stargazing with Jacksonville Magazine. You know, a lot of superstars come here to the River City to both work and play, and there's one person who knows who's doing what and where they're hanging out. Carrie Speckman is a writer for Jacksonville Magazine, blogs for their website as well. She joins us live via Skype to tell us who's been where. So rumor has it Vinny Barbarino was in town, huh? Vinny Barbarino's name. And that's a long time. You know, um, yeah, he from Welcome Back, Cotter. His um, attorneys in town, and but I can't get any more scoop out of anybody. I just know he was here about the extortion plot from the Bahamas that had something to do with his son's death. But other than that, it's like he's I, him in and out of town pretty quickly. He has a house uh, and a big uh, horse farm down in the Ocala area. And, right. Uh, his house is so big, it's also got a landing strip because, you know, his uh, one eyeing. But yet, yeah. town, uh, it's usually on the QT. Uh, yeah, I tried all my sources and nobody was given any. Gymnast, and you saw her where? <laughs> I know. I saw Shannon Miller, a uh, two time gold medalist, at Longhorn, of all places. <laughs> really? And, and yeah, I which, saw her. Which one? First. And had I not seen him, I probably wouldn't have recognized her because she's seven months pregnant. Oh, uh, how did she look? Did she have that glow? Uh, no, she looked bloated and miserable, which is usually how I look when I leave Longhorn, too. Uh, yeah, so she looks a little bit different than she did at the Olympics, then I guess. Uh, a little bit. Yeah. Um, I guess she probably never gets recognized because. Uh, you know, most people think of that, you know, little girl in pigtails, and they have an entirely different vision of Shannon Miller. Uh, yeah, she's got the, she had the frizzy hair, and she's had a little work done, I understand. She looks fabulous, though. She does look fabulous. Definitely. She's been here on the, yeah. uh, the morning show a couple times. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, she looks great, but I would have never play. recognized her. Had I not interviewed her recently, I would have never recognized uh, her. And I also hear, Buzz, that uh, the owner of the Washington Redskins was here? Yes, and I found out a little... They were at Bistro X, I guess, for the Jaguars uh, Redskins game. And apparently they sent a bottle of wine over to a couple of ladies. And the ladies went over to thank them. And they wound up sitting there chatting all night. So they talked um, football? Uh, uh, they talked a little bit about football. I heard one of the ladies was a Giants fan. So I guess that was some cause for ruffled feathers. But anyway, they talked about Twitter and Facebook. Really? Dan no. Schneider and Joe Theismann sitting there talking about Twitter and Facebook? <laughs> I know. It's very silly. All right. Gary Speckman with Jacksonville Magazine. You got your Aren't eye you out. Did you comment on my beautiful painting? What, yeah, what is that? I did that myself. Really? Yeah, I said, um, you, yes, you can this. It's in town. I painted it myself. Very cool. A hidden talent. <laughs> we'll be right back. Thanks, Gary. Thanks, Bert. Here's